Hey everyone, this is Ranger Eric, and today we're going to be talking about the plant that this flower belongs to, which is commonly known as yellow jessamine. You might hear other common names for this plant be used, such as Carolina jessamine or jasmine. Scientifically, these guys are known as Gelsemium sempervirens, though. And a lot of people might already know this is what's generally considered a poisonous plant to most people. Just a little bit about this plant. This is a native to the southeastern United States. They're actually a woody vine. These vines will grow all over the place, and you can actually notice them sometimes growing on the forest floor when they're traveling from one area to another. Of course, as is the case with most plants, these guys are trying to get an ample amount of sun for them to be able to grow properly. So in a lot of cases, you're going to be finding these guys growing on trees and shrubs. But like we said earlier, they're not considered a shrub or a tree. They're actually a vine. And they'll climb using these things called tendrils, which are basically reinforced portions of the vine that help them grip onto things and help pull them up into areas that, like we said earlier, have more sun. They're also an evergreen. So you can see these leaves year-round here in East Texas. But one of the big things that people note about this plant that helps people identify it in most cases are these yellow flowers that you see here. Now, like most plants out here, you're going to notice these flowers around late winter to early spring when the temperatures start increasing for the year. And these flowers, as well as the rest of the plant, is considered poisonous. So what's considered poisonous in this plant is a chemical that it produces known as gelsamine. So what gelsamine does is that it actually binds with our glycine receptors. So one of the primary purposes of glycine within our body is to help prevent our muscles from seizing and to help them relax. So the danger of ingesting too much of this plant is that the gelsamine it produces can overstimulate your glycine receptors. This can cause your diaphragm muscles to relax too much. This can result in symptoms like paralysis, which can lead to death because you can't breathe anymore. So it's for this reason that eating too much of this plant can be very dangerous, especially towards small children that might confuse this plant for something like honeysuckle, for example, that's completely safe to consume. So while this plant does produce beautiful flowers, it's still best just to leave these plants where they are and do not consume them. The consequences of accidentally overdoing it could be fatal. Alrighty, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that maybe now you have more of a respect for this awesome native southeastern vine that we have here in Lake Livingston State Park, yellow jessamine. Alrighty, y'all stay safe in the outdoors as always and I'll see y'all on the next video.